Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and I am doing another plugin tutorial. It's been a long time, a few months, and I can't exactly remember where we left off, so this is where we are now. Today we're going to be making a command, so that's, that's cool. Let's get started now. So I'm going to create a new class. And I'm going to call it command. Put an S on there because why not? Um, I'm going to put in a new class. Just going to call it hello. Actually, let's do it this way. That's an easier way to do it. And I'm going to do it the easy way. So what you can do is you can create this, call it hello, like I did before, but then you could click the add button and command execute. The second one, org.bucket.command. And then you can click finish. And it generates this for you. I will go ahead and change this. Um, CMD. This is just how I like it. You can have it whatever you want. It doesn't matter what you name it. You just have to remember what you did name it. Okay, so... There's a couple of things you can do. So, first of all, one thing that you could do is check to see what the command is. So, cmd... cmd dot... get name... dot equals ignore case, then... whatever you want. But you do not need to do that because the command won't, this class won't be called unless the command is what is uh, activated. So it's basically useless. But if it makes you feel better, you can put it there. So I'm going to tell you how to do several things today, including um, how to get the player, how to send a message to the player, send a message to the console using sendo, not the logo. And I'm going to teach you how to use permissions. So let's get right into it. So the first thing we're going to do is check to see what the sender is. So if sender instance of is gosh. I can spell it right. There we go. Um, and then we're going to, we want it to be an instance of a player. And we're going to have to input that from. It's a capital, but. Same thing. <laughs> there we go. So if the sender is not in. Uh, we'll need parentheses around that. So if the sender is not a player. Then we want to say send uh, sender dot send message. This command is for players only. There we go. And you can add uh, colors here too, so I can do chat color dot wed plus, and it would do it. Imported the wrong one automatically. Uh, I'm using a uh, 1.12, but you can use whatever you want. Uh, you can use the net.md5, but it only works on uh, spigot, so you're going to need bucket if you want it to work everywhere. There we go. That's the right input. And so now, so now that we see that it is a player for sure, well, first we're going to need to return, or the, it would just get through again. Return true. And okay. Next, it's time to get the player. So we're going to do player uh, p equals send uh, um equals player need a capital P player and then sender. That will work perfectly. 
And then let's check it for a permission. So to check for a permi permission, you need if p dot has permission. There we go. Um, let's go ahead and put this in first. And you need to put whatever you want. So tutorial dot hello. Something like that. And let's do this. I find this is easier. Okay, so let's explain what I just did. I'm basically saying if the pl uh, the player does not have the permission, that's what the exclamation point means. It's exactly what I did up here. But since it's one, I can I don't need the parentheses around it. And I would just say send them a message saying that they do not have permission. Call dot red plus you do not have permission to use this command. I forgot what the actual permission you do not have permission for message is. I don't use it often. And we're just going to return true. That way that way they don't get any farther. And then we can just return p that send message hello and let's change the color color dot green just do the green okay it's time to explain exactly what I did here so what I ended up doing is going through and saying. So I, first we check to see if the sender is a player. So if you type in the command, is it the console or the player? And if it's not the player, then we say this command is for players only and we return true. The opposite can be done with console too. So instead of uh, the exclamation point, we could just remove it and that way it's a console only command. Then we get the player from the sender, that way we can send them a message. We don't need to, technically, but, for, well, we, we don't need to for what we are doing, but it could be used later on. And then we check the permission, which is tutorial.hello, so I would put that in my pex config if I was using permission ex or whatever. And then we tell them that we can't use it. And then we return true so that they ha they can't receive this message. And then finally, if all of that checks out, then they just re receive a message saying, hello. And then we return false because that's the end of the command. Um, things to note is that the command class always will implement command executor and at, an at override will be above the command. Um, and then I'm going to do this too, um, private tutorial plugin, plugin, no, public, hello, let's import this real quickly, tutorial dot Plugin. Doing this a little backwards. Plugin equals tutorial that plugin. Um, we won't use this right now, but it will be useful in the future. Yeah. So, if we were to export it and put it into a server now, nothing would happen when we call this command for two reasons. One, no plugin that YML. Two, we did not put it in the unenable. So that's what we have the load method here for. So what you're going to want to do is get command and the name, so hello, dot set executor and new hello. Import. There we go. That should work. 
now the command can be called, but we still have to do one more thing. And that is with the plugin.yml. Let me close this down for a second. So, if you don't have one already, because I don't, I don't remember if we made one or not. Well, we did. We, we, we would have had to. But you open this up, and you have that. In case I didn't, how you would do it is right click. And I'm going to do new file plugin.yml. But I already have one, so I'm just going to cancel. Uh, we're not going to be working with the config today. I think I just had that left over from when I was doing something. Okay, so tutorial 3. That's all good. We're going to need to do this. Commands. Prefix, um, description, oh, the command name is not prefix, it's hello, no capital D, um, uh, say hello, I guess, and then, at least this is, and what this basically is, is, like, what you want to do it, so, hi, um, <laughs> hellos, there we go, I'll just say that, um, you cannot use tabs though, I have it set to where I can use tabs, it automatically does spaces for me, but you normally cannot use a tab in a YML file. And I will have a link to a website where you can check if it's valid or not. Okay. Okay, um, well, I guess I finished this one. So that's how you make a command. Next time will be listener. And, uh, yeah. Well, first let's test it out. Um, hmm. Do I have a server ready to go? I don't think I do. I'll uh, give me a second to set up a test server and then I'll get going. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back and I had one set up so I just got every everything together I needed. Um, let me... So first we're gonna need to export the project so don't do that. So we're gonna do uh, first we ref refresh it, and then let's export it, next, and here, let's go back for a second. It's under Java and JAW file, in case you didn't know. Everything's selected, and yeah, it should be good. Finish, yes, okay. I only had to say yes because I was replacing a file, but I guess it doesn't matter for you guys. And let me start up the server. Why don't you come over here? I, I, I showed you guys how to make a server last episode, so I'm waiting for it to start up. And if this doesn't work, um, plug-in loaded it looks like. That's good. Um, hold up. Ooh, it works. Okay. Um, let me just ban stuff in the chat. Let me just do this real quickly. Okay, I'm copy this. Not you. Okay. 
Okay. So let's bring the console into the screen now. Boop. So now if we try to do slash hello, this command is for players only. And since I am an operator, let me go ahead and de-op myself. de myself, so now when I go back into heal, and I try it again, you do not have permission for this command. It works exactly as it is supposed to. Okay, so now, oh, get out of here. So now I'm going to do such help. And so I can't point you to my finger. Um, you can see that we have tutorial three, so uh, I'm going to do such help. Uh, help tutorial three. And then it says hello. And that matches exactly what we put here in the YML file. And here, let's do hi and slash hellos. They both work. Everything works as intended. And the plugin is good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, it was a fast one, but it still works. So then again, I'll see you guys next time. See you later. Bye.